In this video, we're going to solve the equation x plus the square root of 4x plus 1 equals 5. One thing you'll notice about this equation is there is a radical with an even index of 2, which means we're going to have to check the final solution to be sure that it comes out in the actual equation. Another thing that's interesting about this problem is we have an x on the left side that is not under a square root. If this is the case, we cannot use an exponent yet until the radical is completely alone. So let's get the x out of the way by subtracting x from both sides. This gives us the square root of 4x plus 1 equals 5 minus x. Now we're ready to get rid of the square root because it was alone first. This is very important. The square root must be alone first before we square both sides. Square and square root are inverses, leaving just 4x plus 1 equals... Be careful here. We cannot say 25 minus x squared or even 25 plus x squared. Recall, when we're squaring a binomial, we square the first term, multiply them together twice. a, b, and a, b is 2ab, and then square the last term. Following that same pattern, we square 5 to get 25, multiply them together to get negative 5x, and negative 5x is negative 10x, and then finally square the last term to get x squared. And now we can solve the resulting equation. Because we ended up with an equation that has x squared, we like to make it equal to 0 and then factor the equation. x squared's already positive, so let's move the 4x and 1 over by subtracting 4x and subtracting 1. That way, the equation equals 0. Let's also put things in the typical order with the x squared first. 10 and 4 is negative 14x, and 25 minus 1 is a positive 24. Since the equation equals 0, we know the next step to solve it is to factor. A little bit of work with this one, and we can see it factors to x minus 12 times x minus 2. And then we can set each factor equal to 0, x minus 12 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0, and solve them both by adding 12 to get x equals 12 for one solution adding 2 to get x equals 2 for a second solution. However, before we say these are our final solutions, we recall that we said at the very beginning we would have to check our answer because there was an even index in the original problem. We have two answers to check. Let's check the 12 first by plugging it in for both the x's. 12 plus the square root of 4x, or 4 times 12, plus 1. Hopefully, that equals 5. Well, 4 times 12 gives us 12 plus the square root of 48 plus 1. Hopefully, that equals 5. Adding under the square root, we get 12 plus the square root of 49. Hopefully, that equals 5. Square root of 49 is 7. 12 plus 7, hopefully that equals 5, but actually it equals 19. That does not work. 12 is an extraneous solution, so we have to throw it out. Still checking the 2 then, plugging the 2 in for the x's. x becomes 2 plus the square root of 4x, 4 times 2 plus 1. Let's see if that equals 5. 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 2 plus the square root of 8 plus 1. Is that going to equal 5? 2 plus the square root of 8 plus 1 is 9. Is that going to equal 5? Well, the square root of 9 is 3, and 2 plus 3, sure enough, equals 5. It checks, and our only answer is x equals 2. So sometimes we'll have two answers, sometimes we'll have one answer, sometimes we'll even have no answers. But as we solve, the pattern we must always follow is first get the square root or radical alone, clear the radical with an exponent, and solve the resulting equation. Be sure to check even index.